Hi, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk About It. My name is Kathy Ngo. And I'm Di Lee. And today we are talking about men, men crying. crying. And the reason why we are talking about men crying is because recently the Rabbitohs and Warriors game, um, one of the players, and excuse me, I'm not an NRL. Lateral Mitchell. Lateral Mitchell, yes. Um, Yes, he was seen crying in the change room and the Rabbitohs coach, Wayne Bennett, was seen comforting him. And it was all over the news. People were making a big deal out of it, um, like saying it was he was uncontrollably crying. So using all this... uh, the media negative language, yeah. uh, which is really sad. Um, so one of the ju- reporters or journalists was asking Wayne Bennett, well, what happened? Why was he crying? And Wayne Bennett basically said, well, that's, um, you know, it's none of your business. Like, what's it to you? Mm. Um, so we thought we would talk about men crying because there's obviously... Such it, a taboo subject around such men. such a taboo. Yeah. And then it's like, well... It's just crying, so why uh, Make a big are they deal. making a big deal out of it? So um, from from my point of view, I, th- I think it's just, you know, obviously society um, culturally saying that if men are crying, it's seen as a weakness. And I can s- certainly say that from an Asian uh, perspective because I've got a little four-year-old boy, but I know that... Uh, oh, don't tell me you stop him from crying. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, oh, I'm fine with him crying, but I know that his grandparents um, always say, don't cry, you know, it's, it's the wrong thing to do. Um, so then it tells kids from a young age that it's it's naughty. You know, crying is seen as a bad thing and, and I think that's where it starts. Um, it starts always in the home, isn't it? I, I think that – I think – now, as a, a lot, I think women, we talk about men being emotionless, or they can't show emotions. Uh, the other day, I think a few weeks ago, we had dinner and my nieces and my son we were talking about something about boys and girls. And my son goes, just don't show any emotion about it. Just don't. So I said, why not? Why can't you show emotions about it? I mean, I raise him up to be very emotional. I mean, he is emotional. Um, but when it comes to crying, um, there is this perception in society, that boys or men just don't cry and they don't show emotions, which I think is a real. It's not. Un, it's not healthy at all. That's right. Because yeah. you you're bottling you're it suppressing. up, suppressing your yeah. emotions, yeah. which I don't think is a good idea. Mm. Um, you know, women are labelled often as more emotional, and therefore something's wrong with that. I don't think so. I think every now and then we should let go. Um, and express ourselves. You know, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's actually research um, in a journal, Psychology of Men and Masculinity, and it's found that football players who cried about game outcomes actually reported higher levels of self-esteem. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So it's a good thing. It is a good yeah. thing. So I don't know what people think about men crying. And the men out there who are watching or listening to this – What's wrong with crying? Mm. I think from the context of uh, football players, um, NRL players, like they're seen as really macho, they really are. masculine. It's like a boys' club. So then, crying is almost like a juxtaposition. Mm. It's like seen as like like it doesn't make sense. But then it's it's a perfectly natural human thing to cry. It is. I mean, mm. I, it's interesting. I saw that whole suddenly the whole media interest about this man kind of with his head you know down and this coach with his arm around him and suddenly oh god you know he's crying i'm thinking (laughs) so what um it's as if you know a person who obviously he lost the game obviously no they they won oh they won yeah i think they won yeah they won well if you think about it they are under a lot of pressure they don't just have to play the game but Mm. there's like a whole i don't know anything about yeah i don't know but about the game but like Sorry. they're under a lot of pressure all the time, and you know it's a it's a business. Mm-hmm. Well, talking about I, I I don't know if you saw this, you if people have seen the the Last Dance, which is a Netflix another Netflix series. <laughs> I love Netflix. you love Netflix, Netflix. <laughs> uh, on uh, following Michael Jordan uh, and oh, his uh, career. And he did. Michael Jordan did cry. Oh God! Yes. Yeah. There's like memes of him everywhere. Oh, <laughs> but like he cried like when he, the game that he won. Oh, he he because before I can't remember which number of 
the NBA game that that was, but he was playing towards winning that. And when he did finally win, because he thought he's got to win this, and then he played like out on the court, you know, like mm. just Games. throwing the balls and going really macho. As soon as he walked, went back into the change room because they won the game, he just collapsed and he just cried and cried and cried and and I thought it was normal to watch that because obviously as you said you you build his tension up and you really want this game or he did um, or if you wanted anything so badly that once you got it of course you kind of release release that and that for for men is kind of um, that was you know showed in, in terms of tears I think cry of happiness yeah isn't there tears a saying of joy. Tears, tears of yeah, joy that's right that's yeah. where the saying comes from tears of joy and so i think we need to see more yeah. men in sports crying i reckon i thought you were going to talk about michael jordan crying at kobe bryant's um funeral or he was doing a speech no as i haven't well. seen that so he actually cried and people were talking about it yeah there you go people oh. were talking about it all over the news so uh, uh, our Leonard, thought, Leonard just showed us a, a I thought, who cares? Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's just crying. Who cares? Like it's it's great. Like good on him. But like it's just I just it just find I find it like weird that media would just make a big deal out of it. Yeah, I think they just got no other stories to do, so they yeah. just have to do that kind of a story. Mm. But all I can say is that I encourage boys and men to have a cry every now and then because I think it's good. It's good for you to have to share your emotions. It's healthy. It's healthy. Try it out because a lot Should of women. Should we cry now? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> think of something really sad. <laughs> no, but you know what? If you want to be in a a relationship, or you, you do, but if you want to sustain, have a sustain a good relationship, then you need to learn how to express your emotions more, mm. right? Not to kind of, I'm okay. This is going to be okay. I'm yeah. pretty tough about <laughs> it. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> Just, you know, come right. up and share your thoughts and your feelings. Okay? Yeah. Because I think for us women, we appreciate that. Don't we? I do. I do. I find it really heartwarming if I see a guy cry. Yeah. There you go. Uh. So if you want to warm her heart. <laughs> <laughs> warm my heart. Warm, warm Kathy's heart and cry. Yeah, so warm my heart too. But no, I think actually I've become more cynical nowadays. So <laughs> <laughs> if a guy cries, oh God, I said he's up to something. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's it from us. At Let's talk about it. If you've got a topic or a subject that you'd like us to talk about. Or a story to share. Let us know. Let us know. Uh, send us a uh, an email. Yeah, or comment below as well. Don't yep. forget to subscribe. Yes, click on the bell to yep, get, notified. get notified. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>